Saturday after coffee thoughts. So, about 100 to 200 of my videos are about optical light, optical measurement, what we know about light. Now, in that I talk about light frequencies and the spectrum of light. There is a spectrum your eyes can see of light. That's all it sees is light photons. doesn't see radio waves. Your eyes don't see electromagnetic waves. Your eyes sense light, that's all, and they sense a specific range of light. But when we learned about what that meant and how important it is, we created sensors that see the other sides of light, the lower colors, the photons of pure energy that are the lower colors in that spectrum of light. Light is photons. Our eyes sense photons. They absorb the energy from it and tell us it's there. And in that energy is a frequency. The frequency is, is the color of there. The frequency interacts, and the intensity, interact with rods and cones in your eyes. This is what we know about light. So imagine a sensor that does that somewhere else in that spectrum. Why does this matter? Well, first off, there's the amazement of the photon. It only comes from the collapse of an electron that we know of. It has zero mass, which is amazing and messes up some, some fundamental, some basic equations. So they are good, but they're not enough because there's no mass. You can't divide by zero, can you? Or can you? I guess you can divide by zero. So that's the, that's the challenge and some of the math to this, but optical light, those photons, what do they do? The lower energies we just see, they really don't interact with us much. You know, the blues, the oranges, let's call them the pastels maybe. Those are low calming energy colors, eh? Maybe, depends on your pastel. Or there's plaid. <coughs> what color is plaid? Have to be. <coughs> so, putting that little bits together, going up the other direction, there's ultraviolet spectrum light energy. They're still photons. They're a very high frequency. In that ultraviolet, we've broken it down in the, in the understandings. The science has informed us there's UVA, UVB, and UVC. Coincidentally, these are the frequency, the color ranges, the frequency ranges of a specific set of photons that kill skin cells, that help you tan. They penetrate into your body further than the blues and the greens and the pastels that we recognize. They release more energy in a local area. So you feel it when you walk out in the sun, and it was the same sun as yesterday, but your skin just feels hot, hotter. You're getting more of those A's and B's and C's. So, why this? UVB and UVC lights kill tear apart, break down molecules. This is what they're known for and good for. This is one of the things that uh, some folks in the sciences back in the 60s and 70s were hoping for with these forever chemicals. If they were exposed to UVB and UVC energies, they will, can break those compounds down. If your eyes are exposed to UVB or UVC energy, you can get cataracts within minutes. So do you sell UVB and UVC lights? 
to an uninformed public? Do you take that risk? Do you even recommend it or talk about it? We just went from the rainbow to viral control. It is a property of the huge uh, science and engineering of interferometry where specific things interact with other things and we understand how it works. So there's that and there's always that. Hope you enjoyed some coffee or found some good roll. And peace. Carry on. <laughs>